Keeping your content organized is an important aspect of running a website. Fortunately, the WordPress calendar block can help you do that. This element enables you to display a calendar on your site that links to your posts based on their publication dates. As such, your readers won't need to search through your archives to find older articles. Adding the calendar block to your WordPress site is quick and easy. To get started, navigate to the poster page where you want to display the element, click on the plus icon, search for calendar, and select the first option. Alternatively, you could type forward slash calendar and hit enter to do the same thing. Each WordPress block comes with its own collection of controls and settings. Let's take a closer look at what the calendar block has to offer. So as you can see, once we added the block, a toolbar appeared at the top, and this has three main options. If you're not seeing this, be sure to click on the block. First is the transform to option. This lets us transform to a group or to columns. Then we have the drag and move tools, as well as the change alignment. This can let us change from left, center, and right, as well as wide width and full width. Then we have our more options. This is pretty similar in every single block. It includes copy, duplicate, insert before and after, move to, edit as HTML, add to reusable blocks, group, and remove block. Finally, we can configure this element using advanced settings. And to find them, you need to click on the settings icon at the top right side of your screen. There's really not a lot here, but if we press on advanced, we have the option for additional CSS classes. This is great if you wanna add custom CSS. So it's pretty obvious here that the calendar element is simple, straightforward, and easy to use. Aside from its alignment and width, there really aren't many settings or controls to navigate. With that being said, there are some tips and best practices you may wanna consider while using this block. So here we go. First, remember that the calendar block is only one of several ways to organize your blog posts. It's an excellent option for when you publish many posts consistently and want a quick, accessible way to sort them in chronological order. On the other hand, in addition to using the calendar element, you may wanna use the categories block. It enables you to organize and group your posts based on specific topics rather than the date they were published. And just to reiterate, you can only use the calendar block to link to your WordPress posts. If you wanna create a calendar for a different purpose, such as to display events, you'll need to use an event or calendar plugin. That's really all there is to the WordPress calendar block. As you can see, it's extremely straightforward, but we did cover a bunch of other WordPress blocks, so we invite you to go check out our channel to see those. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.